In previous videos, you could see we found a waterfall in a neighbor land. We cleared the area around it and also rediscovered the lagoon on the top. We fixed the floodgate, did some landscaping and tested on winter. Neighbors are very happy, and us too, but there is much more potential to it. We want to store more water and have a cool place to refresh. Welcome to a new Project Camp update. So we are now at the lagoon. Uh, it seems like there is a lot of water, but actually there is a big layer of mud. We're going to take this out to retain more water and to be able to swim in summer. We are very happy with the lagoon, but at the same time a bit worried because last summer it dried up. So before the dry months come, we want to make it deeper so it can store more water. On top of that, we could use this place as a pool and clean the thorns around it to make a space for us and the native trees. Also, we will make a little bridge to make access easy for everyone. And by the way, I want to introduce you to Ale, who is going to start the work. Hello, I'm Ale. I'm 26 years old and I came with Jester from Spain to help with whatever is needed. I've always liked doing physical work in natural environments, getting dirty and moving around. I've been interested in community living for a while and when I discovered Project Camp, I knew I had to come and see for myself. Eventually, I would love to live long term in a community, maybe even create my own. So this is the perfect learning opportunity. So let's do it. Yeah? So now the lagoon is empty, we are going to join Chester down there and explore a bit more the area and see what needs to be done. So we can see that the floor is super muddy, there's a lot of cane that we have to take out to, all brambles, all like leaves and plant material and branches. Envisioning a super cool beach with the towels, just laying there, enjoying the sun, having a swim. Okay, enough talking, let's start to work. Let's clear all these paths and see how it looks like. It's been going quite well, working by myself, but I could use some hands to speed up the process. Perfect. You're recording? To access the waterfall, we have to cross this part of the creek, that as you can see, is a bit deep. So we thought we could make a little bridge. There are a lot of old native trees that burned here. But luckily, there are new ones growing back. So with this old chestnut, we will try to make a bridge to make it easier and safer to cross. So we will see if our friend Jaime 
can do something with it. What? Nothing yet. Oh, I can do something funny. Okay, so now that this whole area is clear, we can start digging this dirt and build some nice terraces here to enjoy the sun. I don't know how long it will take, <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> Hello, Jesus. Wow, this is really full of worms. Almost in every shovel I take a couple of them. Look, there's another one here, another one here. Very good soil. <laughs> it's always a good sign.
Okay, so now we're just making the water do the work for us and clean all of the soil. It's working. Water. Hala, venga. Yeah, nice, Ale. I want to see it shining. Shining, yeah. <laughs> So now we need wood for building the terraces. Luckily, we have a lot of mimosa that we chopped down weeks ago. Hey Sean, what are you making? Uh, today we've cleared out these big rocks that we have here and we're going to use it as a seat because the water level will come up to about halfway here. Um, I've just built a retaining wall to keep all this mud back and then we're going to build some steps going up here so people can access from both sides of the land. Uh, and then yeah, we're going to be in a cool spot to sit and chill by the water, maybe with a cocktail. Uh, yes, good. Let's move all this. The terraces are starting to take shape. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so 
I'm doing a spiky thing so we can do steps and walls and steps and walls. <laughs> She broke the hole. Is that not funny? You tell me what is funny. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm just trying to make this wall a little bit more sturdier than this wall. Blonde week. On this week, we are all blonde. That would be funny as well. <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. Right? <laughs> How much is it? Now that everything is mostly done, we decided to clear the rocks from the dirt that was accumulated over the years. To give it a final touch, Filippa went to pick some grass in Neighborland to grow in the new area we cleared from brambles. Now it's a matter of time and let the grass do the rest of the job. Cool teamwork! So we've already cleaned all of the floor, this wall, we made these rocks also clean. Now we just wait to fill it up, see if the wall holds up and enjoy the beautiful lagoon. Then I can do this. Now that we finished the work, we invited Tonekas to visit and see what we did. He also gave us some thoughts. Um pau aqui. Aqui, ah. altura, para essa altura. Do outro lado. E depois pôr um pau por cima. Que é para a pessoa ir. Sim, para a gente que não mal. Não. 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 Já dá para nadar um pouco, é? Fogo! <risos> ah, é isto. Nice, é? Sim. 
Isso é uma maravilha. Maravilha. Nem em todo lugar aparece isso. Ah, se eu souber, se eu sei nadar. Não sabe nadar. Não sei, eu não sei se sei se não. Na... Os jabalis vêm para aqui. Não, foram eles, acho. Uhum. <risos> Os outros jabalis. Cada vez, sabe, cada vez a água é menos, não é? Está, há muita crise por causa da... Quatro horas. Quatro horas. Quatro horas. Quatro horas. Quatro horas. Quatro horas. Fogo. Sim. Ai, que maravilha. Ah. Não, está dizendo... Opa, que é isso? Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Chama a cobra? Não. Coitadita, bem para aqui. Esta espécie só existe aqui em Portugal e em Espanha. É? Não existe em mais lado nenhum Não. do mundo. Não. Sim. O que é que pensas sobre o trabalho? Está um espetáculo. Sim. Yeah. Obrigado por tua visita. Não tem nada de ficar obrigado. E vim de vontade. We are happy that Tunecas liked our work and we are also happy to find that endemic salamander. It's a good indication that the water is not polluted. But it was not the only animal we found. During the making of this video we also found frogs, toads, birds, lullabies and hopefully we can attract even more animals now that the lagoon has more capacity to store water. We also found a lot of native trees and plants that now have a lot more space to grow. Let me show you all the work that we've been doing in the waterfall and the lagoon area. Our friend Jaime cut down a dead chestnut that we have here and made this lovely bridge. And not only do we have now an uh, easy way to cross the stream, we make a uh, new space for the young chestnuts to grow. The grass that they've planted during the winter is starting to grow quite high, uh, really nice and smooth to lay down. So at the beginning, with all of the dirt that we were taking out from the lagoon, we started putting it in here to make it more smooth, and we also built these lovely terraces that we can plant flowers here. Then we cleared all of this space to have a nice path to get to the new area. Also, with all of the dirt that we took away from the lagoon, we made these big terraces that we can enjoy, lay the towels here, let the grass grow and enjoy the place. Okay, enough with the small things. Let's talk about the important part. So we removed a lot of dirt from the bottom of the lagoon and now not only do we have a nicer place to swim, we can also hold way more water and thankfully the wall is still holding up. All of the dirt that we removed from there, most of it ended up here and now this place is not so nice as it used to be. Before this was all full of cane, so we made use of the space by building these lovely steps and sitting area so we can enjoy the water from both sides. So now that the mud is all gone, a layer of gravel appears and it's much nicer for the feet and also it doesn't get so dear to the water. <laughs> we removed so much mud that you can see the difference. Before it was below the knees and now it's this deep. You've seen the work we've done, now it's just time to let everyone enjoy the place. Woo! Look at this beautiful place. It has been a long and pleasant journey and now everyone can enjoy it. Next video you will see us renewing the yellow van at base camp to make a long term living space. You can see it already on our Patreon. Otherwise, we see you next week. Tomorrow. Tomorrow.